ready for summer? I hope you are because we have a very fun summary project to share with you today using a brand new stamp set from Art Impressions called Golf Friends. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Nina Marie Trapani and I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable mini slimline card. And we're not just going to make one, we're going to make two. Because as one of the sentiments reads in this adorable stamp set, gulls just want to have fun. So this is the Gull Friends stamp set from Art Impressions. So cute. It features not only seagulls, but some fun pelicans with birthday imagery throughout the whole entire stamp set. I'm going to be using the pack of gulls down on the bottom, as well as the coordinating dies from the set, which comes when you purchase the stamp set. I'm also going to be using the Simon Says Stamp Waves Builder stamp, which I will go ahead and start with to create some backgrounds. I love making my own backgrounds because they're a lot of fun. You can make it customized for the colors you want to use. And one of my new favorite background creation sets is the Waves Builder set from Simon. So I've chosen four of the waves that pull apart from this 6x6 cling stamp. And I'm lining them up into my Misty and I'm going to start off with one of them to begin my building. I'm choosing one of the middle ones to begin with and I'll link it up with a Simon Says stamp in color. This happens to be sun kissed and I'll also be using Simon inks throughout the entire stamping process of this background. After I've stamped one of the waves, I will line up another one on top of it. These nest together so easy. There is a little space between each one, which will create a nice white border if you're stamping on white paper. And that looks really nice and creates a nice bit of separation between each wave. You could also overlap these and create so many unique different patterns and styles. That's one of the fun things about a builder cling stamp like this is that you can totally stamp this however you want. So I use duckling for the next color and we're bringing in jelly bean here for the third. We're going to finish it off with a little bit of scuba down at the bottom. And this is a really fun summer color palette. I think this looks really cool and it's also going to be some of the inspiration for the colors that I'll use when I color in the Gull Friends set. These Simon inks also smooth out really, really nicely after you've used stamped with them. I love how these colors just pair together. So this is one background I made. Then I made a second and this time I'm using just blue. So you can see how this background looks whether you use more of colors from the same family or if you switch it up and add a whole rainbow of colors. These waves look really, really cool no matter how you use them. So for the blue background I used Mallow Blue, Sea Glass, Scuba and High Dive. Here I'm inking up the seagulls from the Gull Friends set and I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I will stamp this twice because I am making two cards like I mentioned before and I'm also going to stamp a few of the accessories that are part of the Gull Friends set. We're going to move on to coloring now and though I'm not going to show you every single step that I took to color in these images, I used very simple colors and mostly in just a rainbow of fun and happy bright colors that were inspired a lot by the colors of the backgrounds that I made. But these images are rather small so there's not a lot of detail that needs to be added to them. I did add a little bit of shading to the seagulls themselves. Even though they're white, I wanted to make sure that they had a little bit of depth. So a little bit of gray makes the perfect finishing touch for the seagulls. Their webbed feet and also their beaks are a nice orange color. And then I colored all the accessories to match the colors that I used in the seagulls themselves. Okay, so now I have the coordinating dies and I'm lining them up over each stamped image so that I can cut everything out. I will use purple tape to hold everything down so that way nothing shifts as I run this through my die cut machine. My background panels are trimmed down to be slightly smaller than a standard mini slimline card size and they're going to get popped up off of the card bases. I used foam tape to pop these up. That will give them some nice lift off of the white card base and create a nice mat around the backgrounds. I also used foam tape to pop the seagulls off of each of my cards. I'm aligning the seagulls along the right and then the sentiments will be aligned on the left of each card. This will create a nice focal point and allow the seagulls to take center stage because we're going to do some just slight dimension on the sentiments and that will keep them in the background and allow the seagulls to be front and center. Speaking of sentiments, I've chosen two. One from the Gull Friends set and then another one happens to be from our new Simon Says Stamp Tropical Silhouette set. I really like the summer themed greeting from that set. It says wishing you endless summers and sunny skies. I just thought that was cute. And then of course the other sentiment says, Ahoy there birthday gull. Very cute, very punny, just classic art impressions. 
What you're seeing me do right now is take some Simon Says Stamp Dot Runner and attach small pieces of cardstock onto the back side of my sentiments. This is allowing me to pop them up off of my card, but it's not as dimensional as a piece of foam tape. So I'm getting just some slight dimension, which will allow the sentiment to stay in the background, which is exactly what I wanted. And then the birds will take center stage. Now you could have stopped there, but I love adding a little bit of sparkle. So I'm gonna pull out some sequins, a mix of sequins from the Simon Says Stamp Rainbow Bright Mix and also Sea Glass. I really like both of these packs. They're bright and happy colors, very beautiful and perfect for summer. So both of these cards have some sequins from those two mixes on their backgrounds and that is going to complete my pair of mini slimline cards using the adorable Golf Friends set from Art Impressions. I love how these cards turned out and they're going to be perfect for sending to some of my friends and family who love summer and of course the seagulls are just too cute. Now of course real seagulls they can be a little bit more on the aggressive side I think probably the craziest story I have for when it comes to seagulls is one day I watched a seagull swoop down and take a french fry right out of somebody's hand right in front of me. That was pretty crazy and it's definitely one of those things you gotta watch. Seagulls love food, I mean who doesn't, but they get pretty aggressive. Okay, so now I'm curious, have any of you got a funny seagull story to tell me? If you do, put it in the comments below, I'd love to hear it. Alrighty friends, I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you want to see more inspiration. And don't forget, everything that I use today is linked in the video description below. If you're watching this on YouTube, and if you're watching this on the blog, it's down at the bottom of the post. Thanks again friends for watching. I'll be back soon with more to share with you all. Bye.